Hi everyone, I wanted to uh, show up uh, this uh, update on the sponsor. I got some update, uh, some feedback from one of the user, uh, Lukash, uh, that was talking and asking about uh, the solutions uh, with the batch export to Elixir uh, mesh presets. And I wanted to uh, show up the update over here. So once you click over, here, over there, you, have, you are opening back uh, this uh, UI. That is defining basically the thumbnail uh, background color uh, for the for the rendering uh, as well as various options. One option that can be uh, set is uh, the Elixir uh, T uh, tag uh, that is over here. So once I uh, define, for instance, so you might uh, doesn't have uh, those kind of tags. So I would just remove this. Once you are opening your scene, you might don't add this. So you set the scene subfolder tag. So I will call it Tyler, why not? And once this is set in the scene, we have a tag that is called Tyler. So you can store some strings over here and it uh, let uh, me uh, export the data, for instance, to the kit subfolder. So I will open this kit subfolder by going to uh, the kit uh, that is, is, is installed. So in under sponsor kits and then uh, game content, we have a specific folder that is called small GC presets. And over here we have the meshes that are stored over here. So once you press the F6 key, you open up the preset browser and that's the same location over here. So if I just left uh, my mouse over here, you have the directory where this is saved and it's in the kit folder. But I checked export to kit subfolder. So it will create a new folder that is that will be called Tyler and that will render and export those as a new Elixir mesh uh, with a thumbnail that is rendered with this background. So let's do this. Um, we just have to select those, right? You can do this uh, over the whole scene or not. Uh, you just have to select the first one if you do want to do this on the selected mesh or save all meshes into a mesh preset over here. So let's do this. It will open up and check if the preset is there. It will do the, the rendering on the side. So we have the background color and the um, grid that is representing one by one um, unit uh, inside uh, inside model. And the thickness of the grid uh, represents the size uh, and the, the um, unit scale uh, uh, information. So the more uh, wider it is, probably the more uh, smaller the object is. So that's important to remember. And the, the more thinner it is, the bigger the object is. So it created those two uh, new mesh presets. And now we have a new folder over here. And you see that we have the renderer uh, tone. And we can, again, select the object and drag and drop it onto the scene. And we have the same object over there. So it's really easy. Uh, if you didn't click on uh, export to kit subfolder, it will just export directly to here, right? By default. Um, if you want to export to a specific uh, folder, you can do it totally as well. And I will combine it twice, okay? So uh, now we have um, in, our, uh, in our scene the tag, so we don't have to set it again. I will change the color of the background. Let's say what we do. Pink, a pinkish one. I will not do do this on the same uh, teapot, of course. And I will click again over here. It will ask for locations. So in my case, I will go to the temp folder under T. So temp underscore T uh, uh, slash T, and it will do the same process. Okay, so the background, the background color have changed. You can use this kind of background color just to organize your various assets 
um, to give it some um, polar um, sorting uh, kind of things. So it does the rendering, it does the denoiser as well, and save the data as it's uh, rendered. So once this is done, it will not be visible inside the mesh presets because you have to uh, add this uh, folder, of course. But we can see now that we have under the C drive, I will get back to the correct location. So let's say uh, we go to the C temp T. And again, we have Tiger because we've defined the type, the subfolder uh, name, and we have the teapot LXL and the turret LXL that are with the same uh, kind of uh, background um, thumbnail. Of course, they are different, but you have to add the bass right over here. So if I go to TMT Tiger and add this, of course, we have the new one, right? So it, helps, it, it uh, lets you uh, save and store those mesh presets inside a different locations than the uh, kit folder. Of course, if you delete the kit, uh, uh, you will lose uh, some of the elements. So that's why the export to specific folder was introduced. Um, now you don't have to, again, uh, specify the, the sp the folder name as well as the kid uh, subfolder name while you are doing this on multiple items so it was a bug fix now it's done uh, thank you for the feedback uh, Lukash um, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and this future see you bye bye